No doubt, many amazing actors have starred on NCIS, some before they were even famous. But let's talk about some big names that got lost in the shuffle, starting with Stranger Things breakout star, the one and only Millie Bobby Brown. Did she die too? I was just about your age. The young actress was only 10 years old when she brought her acting skills on the hit show. In season 12 of the show, we see Brown play a girl called Rachel. Uh, at least a few days. We'll be staying at the Admiral Heights Hotel. Can you let me know if there's any news? She tragically witnesses her mother's murder, and her Navy commander father, who is often traveling, returns to be with her after the tragic loss. But to his shock, he ends up becoming the prime suspect in the murder investigation. NCIS team later discovers that while at first Rachel seems like an innocent girl who loves Harry Potter. It's not wise to sneak up on me, Agent Gibbs. I'm armed. So are we. Drop the weapon, Commander. Plot twist, guys, she's actually the one who killed her own mother, all because she felt neglected by her father. The fact that Millie was able to play such a complicated role at such a young age was a pretty big achievement as an actor, and to know that this was just her third TV appearance. Just how fast the time changes, right? Even at such a young age, the star had a screen presence that you wouldn't forget so easily. One thing that Millie has proved in Stranger Things is that she has all the skills to make it big in the industry. I honestly cannot wait to see what she'll bring to the big screen next. However, Millie wasn't the only famous child actor who guest starred on the show, as Abigail Breslin made it too. Now whenever you hear the actress's name, you might remember her role in Little Miss Sunshine or Zombieland. And I'm Tony, we're NCIS agents. It stands for name. I know what it stands for. But before all those breakthrough roles, Abigail also made an appearance in NCIS as an eight-year-old piano prodigy, Sandy, who was blind. Well, you've been a very brave patient, so I think you deserve a surprise. A Hershey bar? She gets kidnapped along with her mother. The NCIS team tries their best to find out who's behind it all. The young girl has no idea that her kidnapper is someone close to her heart. It's later revealed that the whole thing was a scheme. And you want to guess who the kidnapper was? Sandy's own father. Well, it was a van, and there were no windows in back. Shocker, right? Just from this performance, people knew that a star was born, and the actress was just eight years old. Imagine being so talented at such a young age. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot relate. Two years after this, Abigail scored her first Academy Award nomination for her role in Little Miss Sunshine. And well, the rest is history. This was one NCIS stint that I didn't forget anytime soon. These days, Breslin is a household name and continues to be loved by many fans as she stars alongside some big names in the industry. Our next guest performer also went on to have a successful Hollywood career after his appearance on the show, Zac Efron, before becoming the heartthrob that he is today. The then 19-year-old Zac Efron appeared in a season three episode, Deception. This episode sees Gibbs and the gang searching for a missing commander. He's gonna have to call you back. What? Bye. Wait a You're busted. With nuclear weapons and online child abuse thrown in for a little drama. Zach was a character called Daniel, who's brought in for questioning after unintentionally getting himself involved in the kidnapping of an officer. Gex, Beavis. Right, 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 right. right. Soon he finds himself living every teenager boy's worst nightmare, being stared down by a disappointed Gibbs. I'll admit, it was a pretty small role, and maybe that's why people forget that he was even once a part of the show. But the actor's talent still managed to shine through. Just three days later, High School Musical dropped, and well, the life of Zac Efron changed completely. He was using traces back to 23346 Maple Street. Mr. Clownfish. Little did viewers at the time know that they were actually listening to horrified pleas of a young man who would be an international celebrity just 72 hours later. It seems like NCIS is a good show for up-and-coming actors to star in, just so they can show off what they can do. It seemed to work for all our previous mentions, but not all guest stars came on the show before they found fame. This next celeb has a film career that goes all the way back to 1977. Yep, I'm talking about Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie didn't just appear in one episode in season nine of the hit show, but actually five. Jamie played the character of Dr. Samantha Ryan, who's a potential love interest for Gibbs. Ridgeway was shot three days ago. Ryan's had eyes on Wicks for the last week. He wasn't the trigger man. Well, he could have ordered it earlier. She proved herself pretty helpful to the whole team as she helped them solve a case regarding Harper Deering. You guys remember him? He was the villain of the show for almost two seasons. Jamie's character is this headstrong single mom who continues to butt heads with Gibbs and his team like never before. Where's Baylor? Who shot Ridgeway? 
Wix might be able to tell us if we ask nicely. The chemistry between the special agent and Jamie is just off the charts throughout the episodes. I mean, that was a given, since the pair had played love interest before in Freaky Friday. But before much could be explored between the two, she drops everything and leaves town. That's why you need to say it. Say what? That I was wrong, Gibbs. And I'm never wrong. You might be wondering why. Well, it had to do with their scary ex being released from prison as a part of Deering's manipulation. This scares her so much that she decides to run away with her son Parker, and that marked her final appearance on the show. Curtis has always talked about how special this appearance in the show was for her, and the fans loved her character. That being said, there was another high-profile guest who starred on the show in Season 9, Sean Astin. You guys might remember him as Bob in Stranger Things. The Lord of the Rings' beloved star actually starred alongside Jamie Curtis. Bullet hole through the window. Aston got to play Tyler Elliott, who was the right-hand man for Curtis's character. His character is called for help after secret information is leaked by somebody in the Navy. Clear. Well, that's Ridgeway. Looks like he's been dead a few days. Sean's character plays a very no-nonsense investigator, which is a far cry from the roles he's best known for. For 500k, I'd keep quiet too, even if I did see little green men on a destroyer. Anyway. But unlike Curtis, Sean only appeared in one episode. Aston later spoke about how the role was something that stood out for him. For such a short time made him feel pretty great. Now you might be like, who could possibly top all these iconic stars, right? Well, this former first lady of America made an appearance too. Michelle Obama. Yeah, you heard that right. Out of all the guest stars in the show so far, this one has to be the most legendary. In the episode, Gibbs and the team are investigating a case concerning a deployed Marine's family. Anne, who's a lawyer and wife of the deployed faces money issues since she can't practice her profession where she lives. To help them out, Gibbs calls joining forces. Now does that name ring a bell for some of you? Well, it should, since it's a real charity that was established by Michelle to support veterans and the families they leave behind. At the end of the episode, Gibbs and Anne are invited to the White House to be part of a meeting, and that's exactly where Michelle Obama makes an appearance. The whole scene was filmed at the real White House, folks, making NCIS the first production company to do so at the time. It seems like it was all done as a way of getting support for the charity in real life, and probably the only reason why Michelle agreed to make the appearance. But still, nothing could possibly top this. No wonder NCIS is so iconic. That's all I've got for you today, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.